The first pharyngeal arch is the first of six pharyngeal arches that develops during the fourth week of development. It is located distally to the lens placode. This arch divides into a maxillary process and a mandibular process. The mandibular process contains the Meckel's cartilage. A typical pharyngeal arch consists of the following components. A core of mesoderm covered externally by ectoderm and internally by endoderm. A cartilaginous bar, a pharyngeal arch artery, and a nerve. The first pharyngeal arch contains two nerves, the maxillary nerve for the maxillary process and the mandibular nerve for the mandibular process. On a new diagram, we will indicate the structures derived from the first pharyngeal arch. In the structure of the mandibular process of the first pharyngeal arch forms the Meckel's cartilage. Most of the Meckel's cartilage degenerates with the exception of its dorsal portion, which will give rise to malleus, incus, anterior ligament of malleus, spine of sphenoid bone, and sphenomandibular ligament. Keep in mind that the mandible is not formed from Meckel's cartilage, but is moduled around it by membranous ossification of surrounding mesoderm. The mesenchyme of the maxillary process of the first pharyngeal arch give rise to premaxilla, maxilla, zygomatic bone, palatine bone, and squamous part of temporal bone. Eight muscles are derived from the first pharyngeal arch. Temporalis, masseter, lateral pterygoid, medial pterygoid, anterior belly of digastric, mylohyoid, tensor tympani, and tensor palati. All these muscles are supplied by the mandibular nerve. The artery of the first pharyngeal arch is the first aortic arch which partially persists as the maxillary artery.